the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 44, Numbers 3 to 4. The kingdom of priests and 8,580 workers. The separated tribe of Levi who were to serve God on behalf of the firstborn sons of 12 tribes were separately counted and put in charge of important tasks. First point. The reason for taking census was to establish an army and also in order to educate the Israelites. The reason God commanded Moses to take a census was in order to evaluate the number of men over the age of 20 in the 12 tribes who were able to fight in battle. The final number of men included those who were actual soldiers, as well as laymen who had other jobs. These men also had to participate in training, but not in the traditional sense. They had to be educated on a kingdom of priests. All the men had to learn about God's commands, and also God's promise that five would be able to chase a hundred. Second point. The census taken in Numbers was founded upon the basis of a Passover in Egypt. During the first Passover in Egypt, God killed all the firstborns in Egypt, but he did not kill a single firstborn in the certain tribes of Israel. To all the firstborns God saved, God called them his possession. Afterwards, God commanded Moses to take a census during the year at Mount Sinai. God specifically asked to count the men who were over the age of 20 and were able to fight in war. He also commanded to count the number of males in the tribe of Levi who were older than one month. After the count, there were 273 more firstborns than the tribe of Levi as there were 273 less Levites, the firstborns were made to pay five times 273 shekels, 1,365 in total to the tribe of Levi for their extra effort. Third point, 8,580 people were official civil servants of a kingdom of priests. God said three things in regards to taking census for the tribe of Levi. The first was to include those who were more than a month old. The second was to count the men who were between the ages 30 and 50. The third was to separately count the descendants of Goshen, Kohath, and Merari. The male babies of the tribe of Levi were counted in the census a month after their birth, and until they turned 30 years old, they had to receive education and the tasks involved in being a priest. According to God's commands, the census resulted in the number of male Levite babies a month old and older being 22,000. The total number of Levite males between ages 30 and 50 was 8,580. Fourth point, 8,580 people who worked for a kingdom of priests always had to busy themselves. The Levites helped out the priests in the following when carrying out the five offerings, when looking at the symptoms of leprosy and its cure, when setting the value for the offering, when making an offering without defect, when burning the lamp continually, 
when setting out the bread. The Levites also had an important role of protecting the tabernacle. They were to stop people who entered without permission, even if it meant putting them to death. Appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as priests. Anyone else who approaches the sanctuary is to be put to death. Like this, the 8,580 Levites between the ages 30 and 50 had a heavy responsibility. This was because they had been called by God to act as mediators between God and his people. Fifth point, the tribe of Levi was not allowed to plant crops or to hunt animals. God anointed the tribe of Levi to only carry out the tasks for a kingdom of priests. In other words, they were not permitted to plant crops or to hunt animals. They had to be dispersed within the last of the twelve tribes of Israel and to set up the tent. It was their duty to help the nation become a holy nation in a kingdom of priests. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.